This is Twit. Jeff emailed Twitch at twit.tv about Thunderbolt 3 and eventually, I suppose, 4. He, he says, uh, this confuses me some with Thunderbolt 3 already supporting two monitors at up to 4K, 60 hertz. Will people still need graphics card at all soon? I've got to be missing something. Sorry for the dumb question. It seems like I, if I can currently connect two 4K monitors to a Thunderbolt 3 port on several motherboards now, it won't be long before there is no need for graphics cards. As the new generations of the Thunderbolt connection come out and support higher frame rates still in resolutions, will graphic cards go away? The Thunderbolt monitors out are still fairly spendy, but like anything, it seems they will come down in price. Is that the main issue currently? Thanks, Jeff. And the thing about Thunderbolt uh, 3 and eventually 4 uh, is that it's it's a connection, it's a cable, it's an interface. Right. Whereas the marketing folks like to say at thunderbolttechnology.net, the USB-C that does it all. Uh, it doesn't actually generate the graphics. Um, the GPU right. integrated into the CPU on your laptop or your desktop motherboard generates the pixels that get shoved over the Thunderbolt 3 connection. For it's example, if a, you have a it's Ryzen... It's just a pixel pipe. Yeah. Yes. It's Something the tube. creating the those pixels, <laughs> but then they go through this tunnel... Yeah. Uh, by which, yes, it does support to. I'm not. We're not trying to be facetious here, and I should just stop talking and let Patrick explain yeah. this. He was doing a great job. No, no, no. Well, you know, jump in at any time, right? But right, you know, Ryzen. The majority of Ryzen CPUs last time I checked did not have integrated GPUs, right? So you are Ryzen correct. desktops are going to need GPUs. Um, most Intel CPUs have really meh 3D performance. Um, which, if you don't care about 3D performance, you can use the onboard graphics built into your CPU and whisk those pixels over the Thunderbolt 3 or eventually 4 connection to your monitor, which can be chained with you know external drives and closures and power and a whole bunch of other stuff. Thunderbolt 3 is essentially, you know, as much as I'm on to to you know giggle about the USB-C that does it all, but the idea is that eventually you can have one port on your laptop full-on Johnny Ives, Apple style, and have it connect to all of the things you need. Uh, in reality, sometimes this works better than other times. Um, but it's it's when it works, it's pretty slick, right? Um, yeah. But if you need to speed up apps like Photoshop or Premiere, if you want to do 3D gaming, you are going to need a GPU. For the folks that don't need 3D performance, uh, the onboard GPU or I should say the, the built-in GPU in your CPU feeding over Thunderbolt 3 or 4 is going to be just fine, which is probably the vast majority of, of laptop users and probably desktop users these days. Yeah. Eh, maybe not think desktop about, users. Think about Thunderbolt as the best we have so far at this ideal goal where I.O., like in, input-output on your device, is just a direct connection to the CPU. You want to eliminate as right. much overhead as possible. You're not going through an additional chipset. It's like having external PCI Express lanes, essentially. Yeah. At its, I think that's where they would love it to be. Is that oh, you know, that this is the same as either four or eight lanes of PCI Express, whatever generation. Mm -hmm. So you're not getting anything more by having a Thunderbolt connection than a better and more direct connection to the hardware you already have. So if your CPU, if you check it out and your CPU's graphics only support 4K 30. Thunderbolt's right. not going to help you get to dual 4K 60 monitors. That is the result of a much more advanced graphic solution in that CPU that is then, uh, you know, you can tap into it through Thunderbolt. But unlike things we've seen, like there are definitely USB external monitors. There are things that generate their own uh, display and just need a data connection. But again, that's, I mean, that's more of like a software solution. That's not actually something that would really be viable for gaming or any kind of uh, hardcore application usage. It's a great way to get a secondary display for other things. But their GPUs say, still have their place, for sure. Yeah. No, I've, I've actually been really enjoying the, the video. If you're watching the video, the video that you're watching is from the... Uh, uh, the the Thunderbolt uh, Technology .net, kind of like the the marketing page for Thunderbolt, and uh, you know when it works, it's really slick. So like 40 gigabits per second from your external drive to your device, and you can connect 4K to it, and it can connect to speakers, and it's um, it's slick, right? One cable to rule them all, and in the darkness, bind them. <laughs> so why did yeah, you have to make Jeff, this dark? <laughs> that wasn't dark. <laughs> Well, maybe uh, I mean, dark. the one ring has some, I mean, it, it can do good or it can totally can. consume you and, and devour your soul. 
Well, I'm pretty sure Thunderbolt 3 will not devour your soul, at least in any iteration I've seen. 